Hello, Delac Mom family. Welcome to our live stream. In case you are new here, just feel most welcome. This is the right place to be. My name is Delac Mom Deborah Nchoka. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia, and mostly I create awareness on what happens in the Middle East. Sometimes I do help those ladies who are stuck in the Middle East, domestic workers. Uh, maybe your agent has blocked you. You can reach me out. You have to make sure they have unblocked you. It is their responsibility to do a follow-up on what you are doing. Uh, maybe you have lost your loved one. You don't know where to start from. You're in darkness. You can just reach me out. I'll just give you direction. Uh, you have your missing person. You've never communicated. You can reach me out. Somebody has conned you. And you don't know where to get them. Reach me out. Let's try to reach them out together as the Lakman family. So today I've decided like let me share some of the reasons why ladies are not paid in Saudi Arabia. I'm a girl. But mostly Saudi Arabia and Lebanon. What was what when you work without pay. What are the reasons and how are you supposed to ask for your salary? So I, I'm like I have to share this. Huh? The link I've shared, there's a lady who has worked for three years without pay. You have been trying to get help, but hope one day God will hear our cry. I'm sorry, uh, So I'm here. I just want to tell everybody, like, if you have gone to work to golf, you've gone for green pastures. Kama umenda golf, am umenda Saudi Arabia. That means umenda kutakuta pesa yenye haupu anayo. So kumanisha, when you work, you need to be paid. So, nataka niambia watu kwa nini watu ingine uwa walipi. Like, I'm, I'm also going to do another case. Somebody has not been paid for three years, nine months. Ukijaribu kumuliza, anakueleza ana, ana mpaka hata unashindo kuelewa. Kwa nini nini naendelea? So, this is what happens. First, I want to tell everybody, kama unafanya kazi, everyone, kama unafanya kazi, it's your right to be paid. Ujua tu kila siku lazima ulipwe mwisho wa mwezi. Kama umeingia January tare moja. Ikifika February tare moja, unakua uwa umelipwa pesa yako. Unless, kuna adjustment. Unless, bosa kwambie, mi Debra, si taweza kukulipa tare moja. Pesa yangu mi napatanga tare kumina nane. You make an agreement between the two of you. Wewe na tajiri wako. Akuambie kama hata weza kukulipa hiyo tare moja, ikifika tare kumina nane, utamusongeshia mpaka penya nataka. Kwa sababu, kuna watu wanakulipa, sayi anakulipa tare mbili, next month anakulipa tare tano, saa zingine tare kumi, sasa uelewi. So, ukiona inakulazia shida, weka vichwa pamoja, muambie mimi, I want my money on 18th of every month. So, umusongeshia hata uko mbele penya nataka ifike. Hile deti nyo unawana iko mbali. Mwambia tu mi ikifika hiyo debt, unilipe pesa yangu. So shida inatokezea hapa. Watu wengine walipi kwa sababu ya uoga. Pia. Mtu wanaogopa. Ama nitaongea. Kwa sababu inbox yangu imejea watu waoga. Mtu wanasema lakumamu nimefanya miezi tatu. Unona ni viba ni kiomba pesa. Nimefanya miezi miwili. Unona ni kiomba pesa ni vibaya. It's your right. It's your right to be paid. Hakuna ubaya ukiomba haki yako. When you are sweating, wakati unasugua ukuta pale ukitoa kajasho, unakuanga peke yako. Kwa nini wagopangi kusugua ukuta? Mbona unagopa kuomba mshara yako? So, kuomba mshara yako is your right. So, uoga inafanya watu wengi wanakosa kulipa pesa yao. Kwa sababu wanagopa. Mtu ajui ni nini itaape next. Nikiomba pesa kwa sababu wako na hiyo uoga yenye maybe waliwa yona clips zenye lakimamu wameka kwa mtandao ama vitu zenye watu wanasema nasema ukiomba mshara utauawa so mtu anajikunja anangoja kuji kukupatia bosa hizi kuletea mshara kwa mkono na hivyo ndi watakutekia advantage the moment wana realize wewe siyo mtu wakuomba pesa wanajua ni kama una kazi na pesa juondi wanajua mana ya pesa so uoga inafanya watu wanaugopa kuomba mshara yao Another reason, kuna kitu inaitua language barrier. Hiyo pia inachangia sana. Language barrier, unapata lakumama wanajua kikisi peke yake, 
ajui Kiswahili, ajui Kizungu, yeye alikuwa anangoja pesa yake alipo tu. Yaani na unapata kuna watu kama hao unaangukia mikono mbaya ya watu wenye wajali. You, you can't communicate. Watu watasema unaendaje kama unajuku communicate. Ujue tu ku, 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 kuenda as a maid in Saudi Arabia ni biashara ya agent kukuuza uende ufanye kazi. So hakuna kitabu unaenda kusoma. So una, unaonyeshwa kazi na macho. Hata asipokuongelesha kwa sababu wengi wao wanaongea Kiarabu. So hata kuonyesha hii ni tunaosha cho yetu hivi. Anakufanyia sign tunakata mboga hivi. Hata kuonyesha kazi siku ya kwanza kuna wenye wanaonyeshwa na one day kuna wenye na three days ama unaweza pata mtu wako hapo mwenye anamaliza contract anakuonyesha kazi so unapata uongei na boss so language barrier inachangia sana pia watu kutolipwa so hujui utaomba pesa aje mtu anashinda sasa nikaanza kumwambia nipe pesa aje na Kiarabu huyu anajua tu Kiarabu peke yake ajui kizungu ajui Kiswahili hapo ndio unapatanga tena watu wako na shida mtu anakuja kwa nyumba kitao anasema like mom haki mimi sijawahi omba hiyo pesa nimekaa miezi tano juu sasa sijui nikawaomba aje kama unaweza ongea na agent wako mwenye alikupeleka na kikisi kama ni mkisi alikupeleka ama ni ile ile language the first language nasema mkisi juu mi my first language ni ikerusi so i'm just trying to give an example so kama agent wako mwenye alikupeleka kama naonge kikuyu kama kiluya kama kikale utamwambia utamtafuta umwambie hujalipwa usingoje miezi pile up usingoje miezi ikue mingi alafu ndio uweze uanze kusema mimi nidiogopa juu siko najua vile nitawaomba pesa so kuna watu wanakaftanga hiyo terminology like mtu anasema nitamwambia aje anipe pesa yangu mimi sijui kuomba pesa because of language barrier So yo, that is another reason yenye watu hawalipi hawalipi pesa zao ukiwa Gulf kama umeingia Saudi Arabia. And then another reason kuna watu wanalipwa pesa yao kwa mkono. Wakishapewa pesa kwa mkono, wanaweka kwa nyumba wiki moja ndio wanapelekwa kwa bank. Ni kawaida yao maybe ali agree na boss wake anamlipa date 5. Ikifika date 5, wao boss anamlipa pesa. And then ampeleke kwa bank hiyo siku, anakaa na hiyo pesa wiki moja. Unajua wao watakuwa na kuna pesa. Juu umefanya kazi. Hapo si eti hujalipo, hapo umelipo hadi umesign. Wanakuletea form. Niliona watu wanasema like mama hii ni form 1 tunaambiwa tusign. Ukiona mwisho wa mwezi ukilipa una sign, hiyo ni form inaonyesha ume, umepewa pesa yako. So, mtu anakuja, unapewa form una sign, unapewa pesa yako kama ni 900, unajiwekea. So, huyu mama wa nyumba anaona ni kama hiyo pesa umepewa bure huku fanyia kazi so anakuja na kwambia Debra uh, ni kopeshe. Na hata huyo hata mbaba tu mwenyewe eni anaweza kukulipa tu pesa yako hivi 900 ndio hii sign to sign. Atena anakukopesha 500. Nakwambia ikikupeleka bank Monday nitakuongezea hiyo pesa utume yote. So mtu kama huyo si ati hakulipwa, alilipwa lakini imechukuliwa 500, tena kidogo kidogo anakuja na mwamba 100, tena anakuja na mwamba 200 anabaki kama ana kitu na hiyo pesa yote alishalipwa imeenda. So hapo sasa unashindwa kusema ni ilipo ama si kulipwa. Ukijaribu ku, ku, ku complain, so unajua hivyo ndio vita inaanzanga na ndio unasikia mtu hajalipwa miezi, mtu hajalipwa miaka. Na si ati hakulipwa, alilipwa hadi akasign na hiyo form iko hapo, umesign inaonyesha you, you receive some money, hii tare. So unapata sasa unaanza kuhangaika so unasema la like, mami walinipea form nika sign tena wakanikopesha hiyo pesa my sister wewe sio bank number one. wewe sio bank wewe wakati ulilipa pesa ulilipa pesa ya jasho so na usisema tu ati wanakukopesha hiyo pesa wanaenda wananunua chakula yao maybe delivery kutoka outside na wakupei na hiyo pesa yako inakuja inapotea tu hivyo Watanunua hizo vitu zao na hata kupea na watatumia hiyo pesa yako kununua. So alafu hapo ndio unaanza kujidharau unasema hata wananunua vitu zao, hawanipei, hata ni pesa yangu walienda wakanunua, hawata kupea kwa sababu walimekukopesha. Na si ati ni lazima wakurudishie. So ni wewe tu ukwe mkali, mtu akikwambia ah Debra, nisaidie hiyo pesa yako 100, nisaidie 200, mkataza mwambie uko na watu, uko na watoto wanakutegemea, watoto kumi hata kama 
hata wao wanapanga na watoto wengi so unawaambia watoto wangu ni wengi na bado wanahitaji pesa so na usikae na pesa wiki mzima unamzoesha yeye yeah, akupe hiyo pesa siku yenyewe anakupeleka kwa bank kwa sababu haina haja kwa kupatia hiyo pesa tena kwa kupeshe yote unaona hivyo ndio watu wana end up kutolipwa hata miaka miwili unalipwa unakopeshwa unalipwa unakopeshwa and then unaona sasa watu wana wanahangaika so that is another reason ile ya kukopa unalipwa na unakopeshwa hiyo ndio shida nyingine inafanya watu awalipwe so kuna shida nyingine ya kuweka pesa kwa mkono hiyo ni cash huyu yeye analipwa tu kabisa apelekwe kwa bank hako tu hako tu amewekwa tu pesa yake anapewa yote on time hao watu wanakupima wanakuhesabia miezi anajua leo nimempea 1000 sauti real next month amekupea miezi kumi, miezi kumi na mbili miezi kumi na tatu, miaka mbili anajua tu uko na pesa nataka kushia hii so that isikuje kuletea mtu shida mtu mwingine mwenye haizi jua kuna mwanadada alikuwa ni, ni, ni muindi tu alikuwa tu Saudi Arabia alifanya 5 months na alikuwa anaweka pesa yake kwa bank i think this is not the first time i'm sharing this again so vile alikuwa anaweka hiyo pesa yake paka madam yake unajua ukitoka wanaendanga kwa room yako wana chokora chokora wana chokora chokora wanaweza kukuibia hiyo pesa hata wataweza kupea na kukuibia ama ukiwakosea kitu kidogo wapigie polisi simu waseme umeiba si uko na pesa cash si ulisha saini ulipewa pesa na hizi cash ulitoa wapi kwani wewe upelekangi pesa yako nyumbani kwani hauna mahitaji so hiyo ndio inakufunga so na discourage watu kuweka pesa kwa nyumba unalipo unaweka kwa nyumba unasema mimi sina mtu mwenye anaweza tumia nyumbani watu wa nyumbani watakula pesa yangu so ndio anaambia watu unafungua account kabla hujaenda so huyu msichana vile aliweka pesa yake ya 5 years saida siku nyingi alikuwa anaenda nyumbani alianza, alianza kuweka ako kabali ka, ka zake tu hivi kapoch tu hata alikuwa akaingia kwa choo ndio anaingia tu kwa choo ule mama wa nyumba alimfuata na akamgonga hapa na plant object huyo msichana alianza kutoa mate za white na finally alianguka hapo ndio alikufa kwa sababu huyo mama alikuwa anaona kama huyu msichana anatoka na pesa mingi kwangu hakuona kama ilikuwa ni jasho lake so ndio unasikia tu mtu amekuja wajalipwa alikuwa analipwa atakwambia hata alipokea pesa yake vizuri na alikuwa na sign vizuri lakini finally alirudi nyumbani kama hana pesa ama unasikia tu ana complain those are some of the reasons yenye unapata watu wanahangaika unapata mtu wajalipwa lakini na anapitia amelipwa lakini hajalipwa umelipwa umeweka pesa cash wewe kama unalipwa ngo na unaweka pesa yako cash wewe jua tu hujalipwa because anything can happen hao watu wanakwanga vigeugeu aidha kuitia polisi aseme umemuibia pesa ama wakutume wa, wa ama wakutume kama kuna watu wako hizi nyumba ziko na flows hata kutuma flow ya, ya juu kama unalala una, una, una chini utakutuma juu waache nini yako wazi watakufungia mlango ya kwenda stairs ya juu ataingia kwa rumi yako watachokora chokora watachukua pesa yako yote utakuwa utablame nani nani atakuamini utaanza kusema nani amekuibia so watu wajifundishe jinsi ya kuweka pesa yao vizuri pesa yako tuma nyumbani weka kwa mshwari weka kwa mpesa fundisha wale waarabu wenye wajui kutuma pesa kwenda kwa mpesa wakutumie wakitumia stc ama wajui ingia na wao youtube watch how to send money from stc to mpesa kitu kama hiyo at least kuna kuna watu wenye hawajui kama uko fungua account maybe you can unaweza fungua paypal paypal bado ni account mzuri naweza kukuwekea pesa yako vizuri so at least ndio tuzuie hii mambo ya kulialia au oh, mimi sijalipwa mimi nimelipwa na wamechukua pesa yangu pesa usi, usikae na pesa kwa nyumba ya boss utakukuletea shida utakuwa kama mwenye ajalipwa so kama unasikia some of the reasons zenye nime mention you need to be careful on that kama uko na language barrier ongea na wale watu wenye wanaweza kukuongelelea either agent wako kwa sababu hiyo sio kukosewa ongea na agent wako if your agent is not cooperative you can even reach me out nitakuambia tu pesa nitakuambia tu pesa anybody mwenye una trust 
anaweza kukuombea pesa hata marafiki zako wenye mlikuwa na wao training kama wao wanaweza ongea Kiarabu ama wao wanaweza ongea Kizungu kwambie wakuombea pesa na watu wanze na, na watu wanze u, you exchange details una exchange details unasema juana make groups kutana you share details at least mtu akikuwa na shida unapata uko na details za agent wake so inakuwa rahisi mtu anasaidika Mugucha anasema to the madam yeah i need to tell them because tume tume tu, tumeona watu wengi wanafanya kazi bila malipo mpaka unahurumia huyo mtu baadaye let's try to create awareness at least na tukunzane ndio mtu ajue wenyewe ah this is what i'm supposed to do this is what i'm supposed to do kukienda hivi waarabu wako na hiyo tabia kama ujalipo wa pesa anakuambia bukra kwanza unaona unaona kielekea mwisho wa mwezi ama two days uenda kulipwa unaambiwa uoshe ukuta hata kama uliosha last week unaambiwa urudie unasikia tu ndio sasa boss ana complain kazi yako sio nzuri because inawauma wakati wanaenda kukulipa inawauma kabisa so unapata tu ni kawaida if you are going through that hiyo ni kawaida hiyo sio kitu chenye unaweza kuonasema like mama ikifika end month wananinyima chakula wananiambia nioshe ukuta wananiambia sijui nioshe ni ninyoe makondo sijui nifanye nini yani ni vile tu wana feel kama hiyo pesa yao inawauma hiyo ni kawaida if you go through that like every every time end month that is normal hiyo sio kitu inafaa kukushukua We ambiwa rudia rudia hiyo kazi fanya because hawataki kukulipa juu wanasikia ni uchungu akikupea pesa yake anasikia ni uchungu sana so most of the time uta, uta, uta kifika end month utasikia mama anasema bukra ah mama atakwambia baba hajapata pesa ama baba yuko so baba akitokezea atasema bukra bukra anamaanisha ni kesho kesho inakuwa kesho inakuwa kesho kutwa inakuwa kesho 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 so uki, ukipeana ukiwapea chance masikio yako iwe inasikiza mambo ya kesho kesho utapata miaka mbili imeisha wakiendelea kuimba kesho kesho na utalipwa so usikae miezi more than two months without pay kama ujeris alam tafadhali let us try tuambiane ukweli usimalize miezi miwili kwa sababu the case amount to start ni ya three years nine months ati alili alili alitumiwa ali, ali, ali pesa miezi tatu hiyo story kaisha so sasa hizi ni 3 years 9 months aje ilipo hata one bob mpaka unashindwa uanzie wapi so maybe sio hiyo mmoja maybe ni watu wengi but if we encourage one another na tufunzane mtu atajua tu ikifika miezi mbili sifai kufanya kazi na tena wacha niambie watu ukigoma kuna watu wenye wametumia tactic wakalipwa sasa hao unaweza fanyaje ulipwe pesa yako wewe leta sura ya kazi wakati umemaliza mwezi na ujalipwa pesa yako. Unaweza kukaa tu mahali pamoja. By the way, mambo ya Saudi Arabia is gulf inataka drama kidogo. Inataka tu drama kidogo. At least mtu anasema gai kumbe huyu mtu nilidhani hana macho. Unakaa tu chini plate yenye huko. Unakujiwa hapo. Why you not working today? Unaji explain hata kama utaongea kizungu ya kikisi ukisema tu unataka pesa yako kwa sababu umesikia maybe watoto wako wako na njaa watoto wako wametupwa nje yani uko serious utalipwa pesa yako kama wewe ni wewe wa bukra kidogo una smile utazekea hapo miaka mbili tu ya malipo ukisikia tu bukra sema ah sawa 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 utalipwa kaa pale eta drama ingia kwa rumu yako ulale usingizi unasikia tu mtu anagonga mlango wale wenye wako na lock kama uko na lock uko na bahati unafunga tu kutoka ndani kabisa yeye akilala sazira anaamka saa sita apate pia wewe umelala kwa nini umelala mwambie we agreed we agreed siku ya kulipwa it is 18 already you have not paid me wao wanajua hata ofisi watawapigia wawaambie that lady needs to be paid lakini sasa uoga inafanya watu wanaogopa unafanya kazi unaumia So wewe usifanye usifanye kazi kama hujalipwa ile date yenye mli agree. So wewe uki, ukitaka kupata sulu vizuri na boss wako weka agreed date. Msema tu kama mimi tarehe 18 ni hivyo. So ikifika tarehe 18 wanajua tu ikifika tarehe 18 uh, wewe sio mtu tena. Wewe unabadilikanga. Vile wewe umejua tu ikifika hiyo mwisho wa mwezi 
wanakuambia ngo woshi ukuta pia wao wajue tu ikifika tarehe 18 huyu mtu sio mtu tena so mkaheshimiana na kuambia na hakuna siku uta complain kuhusu pesa mimi nilifanya kazi Saudi Arabia nilikuwa nafaa kulipwa debt 6 but wakasema watakuwa na nilipa debt 10 so ikifika debt 10 mimi debt 10 ikifika debt 10 saa 6 hapo hivyo kama sijiona pesa yangu kwa bank mimi nakuanga mtu mwingine tofauti na walijua tu hapana ikifika debt debt 10 kama jalipo so kama itaingia hiyo debt 10 unaambiwa mapema pesa imechelewa maybe itaingia kesho mapema wanakuambia mapema lakini ukizoesha mtu hauzui anafaa kukulipa debt gani wewe unabahatisha tu last week nilipa tarehe moja maybe this week nilipa tarehe tano make an agreement with your boss ndio aone pia wewe you know your value kama unaweza acha familia yako uende ufanye kazi wewe ni mtu wa